guys, today I'm gonna be doing a Thai Talks video on college guys. Last video, the Meet My Roommate video I did with Kiana, my roommate, um, we asked if you guys wanted to hear about college guys. A lot of you guys requested that, so I figure I will tell you. And this is gonna be a ramble rant um, video, so it's gonna have no structure to it. Kiana, this currently has strep throat, so she's not really feeling well, and I wanna get this video out. But maybe I'll do a college guys part two, part two with her. Um, Kiana is my roommate, for all of you guys who don't know, so if you want that, thumbs up and comment below. College guys. Okay, first of all, I will say the term, there are many fish in the sea, that definitely applies to college, especially because I'm going to a school of 13,000 people. Like in high school, it was just so over all the guys in my grade. So part of them I became really close friends with that like that just wouldn't happen. Part of them I just didn't care for, and then part of them who I had like crushes on. Or high school, it just wasn't working out for me and boys, really. Um, so in college, it's very different. The first group of guys, I guess you can say, are the athletes. A lot of people tell me to stay away from the basketball players and the football players because they say the stereotype about them is that the football players are nice to girls, but like, they're actually very manipulative and the basketball players are just dicks. I think it's just because in college, especially because I'm going to a division one school, college athletes are like on another level of like fame. Like it's really weird because Clearly they're being put on like ESPN, like they have the opportunity to go to the NBA. One time I was at the football game and I was sitting behind these like basketball players and girls were coming up to them, asking them for autographs, like asking them for photos, like trying to snap pictures on the side. This one girl was trying to be sneaky and like snap a picture and be like, oh yeah. But her flash is on and those guys are just like, yo, like what are you doing? The type of guys I like, intellectually stimulating but also goal driven. So like I like to see ambition and like interest and I also really like funny guys. Anyone who can make me laugh, anyone who likes Chipotle, attractive. Um, people have different versions of attractive. There is a cute, really cute football player in one of my classes. I, for the most part, am probably gonna stay away from athletes because I feel like a lot of them don't have what I look for in a guy. They're just sort of eye candy, so I'll keep it at eye candy. So the main thing I can say about college guys is that you can't really expect a relationship from them. Like, don't expect anything more than like what is happening in the moment like don't give yourself high expectations because my roommate Kiana she's had a couple incidents with guys where she's like really liked a guy and like they were talking whatever at a party and the next day she'll never get a call back like they'll never text her they'll never do anything and then she'll be really upset because you know she likes the idea of like having a relationship or some sort of ongoing relationship. Me, I sort of feel like, you know, the guy that you're gonna date, like the guy that was gonna be in a serious relationship isn't gonna be a guy that you find in a rager or like a party. Like I feel like you can expect those guys to um, just be sort of like one-time things. I feel like the type of guy I'm gonna meet that I like is someone who maybe I meet in the library or maybe I meet in a classroom first and then like if you see them at a party like then potentially it could be something more. If you think about it, especially freshman guys, they're new guys that are getting onto the campus. They have a plethora of options to choose from. Why would they wanna settle their time on one girl when they can go from girl to girl to girl and like whatever. I feel like that's just teenage boys in general. I feel like you find the juniors and seniors who are more so, they've been through that and they like, have experienced this like craziness of college and then they're like more so ready to settle down. They wouldn't want to commit to anything really serious like right now because like you just got here like there's so many different people you can meet like why not. My first tip is don't have high expectations for what a relationship could come My to. second tip is that you know a lot of people come with this expectation that there's a pressure to have sex in college. What ended up happening at like the end of my senior year is like a lot of people ended up having sex. Like, some people would be in like long-term relationships and I understand that like after a certain amount of time you talk about whatever you do it when you're comfortable like you don't feel any pressure and that makes sense like that's what relationships that's what happens in relationships but then some people feel like they need to do it before they get to college because they feel like everyone in college like isn't a virgin and that's totally not true. Like, the reason why I'm like bringing this up is because a lot of guys you'll meet like they may have the intention of like trying to have sex with you. Like a lot of guys in college are just gonna like try and sweet talk you and like 
just so they can have sex with you and like some guys will be like really open about it or some guys will be like hey like want to come to my room whatever and I've had that experience like I've had that experience where I'm like talking with a guy and then they'll like insinuate like hey like let's go back there and like do the deed or whatever they don't actually say it like that I just think it takes a lot of you knowing about yourself a good sense of who you are especially if it's some if you're a virgin in college like and you want it to be your first time do it where it's gonna be to the point like when your kids ask you about like the first time you've had sex you'll feel comfortable telling them there's no time limit on when you can have sex feel no pressure and if the guy doesn't respect you for saying no then clearly that's not a guy that you want to be Everything, with. you know fresh meat when you're a freshman in college you're just gonna be meeting a lot of different people and upperclassmen will tend to target freshmen and be like hey you know you're fresh me I'll sweet talk this girl and like make her believe that I'm awesome so that I can get in her pants and I'm just like no I'm sorry like that's not the way it works here, you know? I have a working brain. In terms of meeting and talking with boys in general, like, there's so many different ways you can meet them. Like, it doesn't have to just be at a party. Like, it can be on your floor. It can be at, like, going to a concert or going to, like, and then all this, like, advice, you know, I feel like a mother. You know, my love life is non-existent. <laughs> I have this thing where, like, I don't like guys that are like overly obsessive and like overly like texting you like so many times a minute whatever you know there's this one guy I've met here that like text me constantly he would be like yeah you know it's raining like I can come pick you up like hey like you know you play tennis like you could be the next Serena Williams like hey let's do this hey let's do that I'm not really giving you your space you know I told the guy I was like sorry like I'm not interested I just like want to have my space and he still responded with, hey, you want to go to the movies? And I was like, okay, then there's something clearly wrong with his brain that like isn't connecting. I'm on the tennis club and there are some really attractive guys on the tennis club, I will say that. I'm not going to give names because you don't know when this YouTube channel is going to splurge out to the world. Yeah, he's really attractive. All I can say is there's some great eye candy in college. You just have to make the decision for yourself what you're going to do about it. Saying that you can't have a relationship your freshman year because I know this one girl who, you know, met this guy in the tennis club. They like got together and like hung out. Um, and you know, now it seems like it can develop into something that's like actually really nice. And he's really sweet, like he never pressures her, like he always compliments her and is not overbearing, like, you know, that exists in college. I just really think it's hard to find. <laughs> Hopefully this boy video is very helpful in terms of college guys because they are very different than high school boys like high school boys are sort of like I feel like they're much more scared to approach girls than college guys college guys are like so willing to approach girls at any time and be like hey what's up like do you want to dance my next tie talks let me know what you want to see or what you want me to talk about and comment that down below hashtag tie talks don't forget to follow me on Twitter um, at fashion with Ty. Instagram my name is Tyra and Facebook, my name is uh, Fashion with Ty. And I'll talk to you guys later.